Next, let's clear up the courts. Judge compares LGBTQ plus people to pirates during hate crime case. The Iowa Supreme Court upheld the conviction of a man who trespassed at five homes in the small town of Boone and left notes referring to pride flags on display that read, quote, burn that gay flag, end quote. The handwritten notes were taped to the front doors of the homes in June 2021. All the homes displayed rainbow flags or decals. The criminal, Robert Clark Geddes, claimed on appeal that the ruling of a hate crime violates his free speech rights. A majority of Iowa's high court rejected the argument. Victims told police they considered the notes alarming, annoying, and threatening. In a surveillance video, Geddes was identified as the perpetrator and was charged with five counts of trespassing as a hate crime. However, while declaring the ruling, Justice Matthew McDermott wrote that there was no evidence in the record that indicated the targets of Getty's notes were members of the LGBTQ plus community. Whether Getty's believed they were, nor if any of them, any of the residents had an association with an actual person in those protected classes, he said, quote, as a symbol, a flag doesn't independently create or express actual association with particular persons. Not everyone who displays a pirate flag is associated with the with actual pirates, end quote. Um, well, what I took from his comments, because <laughs> I could see what he was saying, um, everyone who does display a LGBTQ plus flag does not identify as LGBTQ plus. But like I stated in another um, story before, when I see the flag, it it represents safety. Mm -hmm. So it represents a safe housing or a safe place, whether or not the persons or people who display the flag um, are identified with our, our intersections. Um, the, it, it still represents safety. And so basically the trespassing was a hate crime against the safety of sh or shelter or of uh, LGBTQ plus persons. Right. Yeah, he wasn't actually saying we're pirates, even though, I mean, sometimes we kind of claim that. Don't mm -hmm. we? <laughs> I mean, and the residents that live within those homes, I mean, yes, it is harassment. Um, because again, if, if they may not identify LGBTQ, but you're leaving notes on their door uh, with a threatening message, which could be, you know, aimed at them and, and have more violence as we, you know, come to see many stories following this. So I just think that, I mean, it's very small minded by the judge, but not surprising. Well, you know, there are some people in Iowa who continue to do everything in their power to live up to the state's accurate acronym. Idiots out <laughs> wandering around. Oh, ow. Oh, Sorry, oh. Iowa. Damn. That, that's pretty powerful. But I, to go back to your point, Jeff, I, I think it's uh, if you have a flag, in Jamal's point too, if you have a flag, you typically are accepting, you're open. Um, and most people who have flags up typically have a family member or a friend or a kid or someone that they're pretty close with. And that's why they have the flag up. So it is threatening. It is harassing. It's it's very challenging. And I don't like the, the comparison to pirates, actually. I just think it's it's too amateurish. Silly. It's amateurish for a judge to write a comparison to pirates, to be frank with you. This is about protecting our community, celebrating our diversity, being accepting. And to John's point earlier, um, when we talked about the so many flags, we have a very diverse community, a very diverse community. And the flag to me symbolizes that diversity of who we are um, in the LGBTQ community and that safety net. Maybe the judge watches Our Flag Means Death, which mm, is a mm. show about gay pirates. It's it's a fabulous show. It, is a it really is. It, yeah. it, it really is. But I mean, the judge, I mean, in his line is just ignorant. Uh, is it will for ignorance because he's hoping to get promoted to uh, a federal bench mm. by the next... Uh, Republican president, perhaps, who knows. But the fact is, if people are displaying the pride flag, be it in a sticker on their window or from a flagpole or on the back of their car, they are aligned with us. People don't put up, you know, flags to spite other people. You know, Miami Dolphin fans aren't putting up the Jets flag on their pole on Sundays to go, we'll show you. No. <laughs> They well, don't. Proud Boys are not showing up with pride flags or stickers on their pickup trucks at their meetings out in what I can only imagine is a rural part of the Everglades. The flag does say something about the people inside. It does. Um, yeah.